Welcome to 30 Olympic sports described in one sentence. Let's get started. Welcome to the sport that's one laser sight away from losing all credibility in the eyes of the world. Originally deriving from the earlier sport called Battle Door and Shuttlecock, Badminton defends its title as being one of the wankiest events ever conceived, literally being named after the Duke of Beaufort's Badminton House in Gloucestershire. As it turns out, two people punching each other is pretty entertaining when they don't have millions of Instagram followers. Now featuring enormous half-human insects, bending the laws of physics for our amusement. Welcome to If Cycling was invented by physics professors. Welcome to If Cycling was invented by a Red Bull marketing team. I'm not sure why this is a sport, but I imagine landscapers really like watching this event. The British are so dominant in the sailing category that their biggest rival is literally a rebellious nation that they sailed halfway round the world to create. Welcome to a strange form of involuntary yoga. The now discontinued East Germany had such a successful Olympic rowing streak that it still has more medals than West Germany, the United Team of Germany, and regular Germany combined. I can imagine this looks as dumb to Americans as American football looks to Europeans. Welcome to a sport which was long considered so brutal and physically demanding that women were only able to compete as of the year 2000. Many would consider javelin athletes to be the most caveman-like of all the Olympic events. Those people would be wrong. Now featuring someone from a former Soviet nation performing a weirdly sexual routine on a horizontal bar. You could even call it pole dancing. Welcome to the grandest battle royale of which country lays claim to the strongest horse girl in all the land. Humans may yet achieve world peace with the amount of people who don't give half a shit about baseball but just want to see the United States take home anything less than gold. First enjoyed around 1600 years ago, surfers have collectively witnessed the gradual invention of the modern firearm and its eventual adoption as an Olympic sport a whole 125 years before surfing. Viewers can take pride that the report they wrote in year 4 about why skateboarding should be an Olympic sport finally made a difference in the world. If people climbed this fast in a movie, viewers would say that the special effects are fucking stupid. Welcome to a sport where shitting yourself is a shameful admission of defeat. Welcome to a sport where shitting yourself is a rite of passage. Welcome to a sport where shitting yourself is fucking spectacular. The Soviet Union still holds the most amount of gold medals for Olympic wrestling, while the Russian Federation can't even compete after a widespread doping scandal. Introducing the only running event that anyone gives half a shit about. I'm a reasonably athletic human who couldn't qualify for what I actually wanted. Some say that the triple jump was just invented to cover up the forbidden double jump technique. This is the sport where athletes bodies literally give out and refuse to function, all while people watching from home smugly proclaim themselves more worthy of a gold medal. Welcome to the people who could literally hurt themselves with full damage on flat ground. I watch it for the plot 